Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, I am going to share with you 7 strategies for clearing UGC NET English exam in the first attempt. Now, I have received plenty of requests for this video and therefore I am here with this video where I am going to share with you 7 strategies that will definitely help you in cracking the exam in the first attempt. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now we all know that the syllabus of UGC NET English exam is never ending. Therefore, along with hard work, we also need to be smart about cracking the exam. Hard work along with smart work should be the mantra. So watch the entire video so that you can unlock the secrets, the seven strategies to clear the exam in the very first attempt. Strategy number one, practice paper one for two to three hours every single day. Now what happens in order to complete the vast syllabus of paper two, sometimes paper one gets ignored, but that should not be the case because Paper 1 is a very scoring paper. That is where you score maximum marks. And therefore, you should never ignore paper 1. Every day, along with your paper 2 preparation, dedicate at least 2 hours to practicing questions of paper 1. So now for the units, there are total 10 units. But for these units, such as mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning, data interpretation and comprehension, you need to practice the questions that have already appeared in the previous year question papers. So look at the question papers of previous year, previous 10 to 12 years question papers and solve the questions in these units. That is comprehension, mathematical reasoning, logical reasoning and data interpretation. Now see, the pattern of questions will be similar in every single year. Therefore, if you are well versed with the last 10 to 12 years question papers of paper 1 UGC net, then you will be able to score brilliant marks. Now for the theoretical units such as teaching aptitude, research aptitude, communication, information technology, environment, higher education, you can study them chapter wise or again you can just practice the last 10 to 12 years question papers. Now one extra tip is that you should focus on comprehension and research aptitude a lot because questions from these areas will also appear in paper 2. Strategy number 2. Have a great understanding of the history of English literature. Now in paper 2, majority of the questions come from British literature. Therefore, you should have a good understanding of the history of English literature. You should know all the literary ages in the chronological order. You must know which writers belong to which ages. You should know the very important and the lesser important works of all the important, the major British writers. British poets, British novelists, British playwrights, British short story writers and British prose writers. For the minor British writers, you can refer to the previous year question papers and you can see the writers that are asked. This works for only the minor writers. But the major British writers, you have to work on them. You must dedicate your energy in mastering British literature because 30 to 40 percent questions in UGC NET English paper 2 come from this section. Strategy number 3. Have a great conceptual understanding of literary criticism and literary theories. After British literature, the next section from which maximum questions are asked in UGC NET English paper 2 is literary criticism and literary theories. I am also including cultural studies in this group. Now, simple memorization and rote learning will not help you in answering all the questions from literary criticism and literary theories perfectly. Because if you look at the previous year question papers, you will see 
that plenty of assertion reason questions are asked from this section. Why? To test your conceptual knowledge. And that is why you need to have a great conceptual understanding of literary criticism and literary theories. See, 30 to 35 percent questions are asked from this section. Therefore, if you feel that your concepts are not clear, then read books, watch videos, but make sure that all the concepts associated with literary criticism and literary theories are absolutely crystal clear in your mind so that you can attempt accurately all the questions that come from literary criticism and literary theories. Strategy number four. For American literature, European literature and Indian literature, follow previous year question papers. Now after you have mastered British literature and literary criticism and literary theories, you can focus on American literature, European literature and Indian literature. Now I have observed that some questions from American literature are often repeated in UGC NET English exam. And even if the question is not exactly repeated, the writers and their works are often repeated. Therefore, you can look at the previous 10-year question papers of UGC NET English and you can make a list of all the writers, all the important American, European and Indian writers from which questions are asked very frequently in NET exam. And you can study those writers. Like some writers, some American writers from which questions are asked every year almost are Henry James who wrote The Portrait of a Lady, Nathaniel Hawthorne who wrote Scarlet Letter, Herman Melville who wrote Moby Dick, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Mark Twain, Ernest Hemingway and among the poets we have Robert Frost, we have Walt Whitman, we have Emily Dickinson. These writers are asked again and again questions from their works. So you can focus on their works and writings. The same thing you can also do with the important French writers, German writers, Russian writers and Indian writers. You can make a list of the writers from which maximum questions are asked in UGC NET English exam. And for that you have to just look at the previous year question papers and you can make your own notes from it. Strategy number five. Have a good knowledge of literary movements, literary devices and literary terms. Now I have a podcast on Spotify, the Learning Literature with Porba podcast, where you can find 60 bite-sized episodes on all the literary movements, on literary devices, literary terms. So you can just download this app Spotify and you can access all the 60 episodes. You can also find videos on my YouTube channel on literary devices, literary movements and literary terms. Now 3 to 5 questions are asked every year from this section. Therefore you must have a good knowledge of literary movements, literary devices and literary terms. And also you should have knowledge on prosody, types of meter, types of foot, iron, dactyle, anapest, trochee. You should know these terms. Strategy number six. Leave out two to three lesser important modules if you are unable to complete the syllabus. If your goal is to crack UGC NET English in the first attempt, it is not important to cover the entire syllabus or to do all the modules. The trick here is to have mastery on maximum modules that you have studied and to revise them again and again. Instead of studying everything and not getting enough time to revise, it is much better that you complete 80% or 85% of the syllabus and you revise them well so that you can retain everything that you have studied. Therefore, if you see that you are running short of time, you can live out two to three lesser important modules from which a lot of questions does not come in UGC NET English exam. So it is completely up to you which module you want to leave out, whether it is language or English and news, post-colonial literature, it is up to you. But you can leave out 
two to three modules if you see that you are not able to complete the entire syllabus. But make sure that everything that you have studied, you revise them well. You revise them again and again so that you can answer questions from those areas accurately. Strategy number seven. Take mock tests before appearing for the exam. Once you are well prepared with the exam, you are well prepared with the syllabus, you should take a few mock tests at home before you appear for the exam. Now you can find plenty of mock tests on the internet. You can go to the official website of UGC and TNET where you can find mock tests and you can appear for them. Now keep aside three hours of your time. One hour for paper one and two hours for paper two. When you will be giving the mock test, you will understand how well prepared you are. You will also learn the art of time management and you will be able to solve the paper well in exam. So in exam, when you will get the paper, you will not feel overwhelmed at all because you have already practiced at home. Therefore, it is very important to take mock tests at home so that your confidence is increased that's it for today's video. If you follow the seven strategies, then you will definitely be able to crack UGC NET English exam in the very first attempt. I will soon make a video on revision strategies for UGC NET English exam. So stay tuned. If you found this video helpful, then do like it and share with your friends. I'll be back soon with a new video. Stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purba. Also visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpurba.com to discover online courses and classes on English literature and creative writing. Also stay tuned with us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.